Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. I still just favor the young generation here, you know. Um, he he, he wiggled away uh, that victory on me by one point. Um, Errol prides himself on outperforming me. All he has to do is do it one more time, and I believe he has all the tools that it takes to beat a Manny Pacquiao. Plus, I also think Styles makes fights. How is Pacquiao going to perform when his awkward movement against right-handed fighters is not going to be the same against the Southpaw? It's going to be more like an orthodox fighting another orthodox. Now, we haven't seen Errol or Manny fight a ton of skillful Southpaws throughout their career. So we don't know necessarily um, who this favors when it comes to Southpaw versus Southpaw. But the last time I saw Errol, I think it might have been against Lamont Peterson based off of my own memory against a very talented Southpaw. Errol Spence walked him down, utilized the jab all day, and was able to pretty much win off of the one and the two. You know, And um, I think he can try to take that fundamental approach, but with Manny's movement, he might make it a little difficult to stick that jab out all day. Um, but he's the bigger man. I think he can press Manny back. We know when he gets you on the ropes, he likes to go to the body. And I just think that there are more than one or two things that do favor Errol Spence in this fight. But like I was saying earlier, if anybody's going to surprise us and jump in with that speed and that power and catch you off guard, it's Manny Pacquiao. Do you want to win this? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Let's let's be honest. This fight, this fight doesn't, this fight doesn't happen when Keith Thurman wins. This fight happened because I took an L, right? Because I fell short. I dropped the ball. I fumbled. Only winners make it to the Super Bowl, right? And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a big fight, a mega fight. It could be me in there, but tonight or going into next month, it will not be me because of what happened in the summer of 2019. So I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring, showing people that I have not skipped a beat. I'm going to be right back at the top of the division and hopefully taking on the winner of this fight early next year. What is your response to Errol? Because he's been so dismissive about you as a potential opponent. He just doesn't entertain the idea whatsoever. What's your response to that? You know, um, weathers change. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's rainy and cloudy. Um, humans are very emotional. I think there's gonna be a time and a place, and I think that time and place is coming soon. Um, if he keeps denying, um, that this matchup is one of the greatest matchups that boxing can have right here, right now. Young, athletic, in their prime fighters. Um, I want the fight. This is supposed to be my fight. I wanted to beat Manny Pacquiao, then fight Errol Spence in 2020. Why? Because it was an Olympic year, right? 2020 was not a year for anybody. It would have fallen into 2021, but because of my loss over Manny Pacquiao, this is the matchup that has manifested. So in a way, because I dropped the ball, he doesn't have to see me today. Is he going to have to not see me ever? We'll see. Do you think he's doing that on purpose because you, were, you weren't really entertaining a fight when he wanted it years back? That's everyone's bottom line and story. It's whack, okay? You would have got paid pebbles. Now you're going to get paid, you know, a, a big... Uh, gold chest, you know, the, the value of Keith Thurman, the value of Errol Spence, the world recognition of who Keith Thurman and Errol Spence is, is bigger than ever. So the fight would automatically be bigger and better today than it ever would have been yesterday. So if he, you want to be upset of me being in a politically powerful position and not taking that step, but who Keith Thurman is, is not some up and comer who doesn't hold a lot of value. So to devalue who I am in this moment doesn't make sense. When I, when I devalued you, your value was devalued. And that's me being honest. You are the truth. You made it to this point. And we are all proud of you. And we're all big fans. We got a lot of fans from all over the world, down in Florida. I've watched so many of your fights. You're a talented young man. See me. See me. What's going to happen? You're here as an analyst today, but what's next for you in the ring? It's been two years since we've seen you fight. Uh, what, what's next for you? Whatever they bring to the table. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing some news very soon.